Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Horse Islands. So today some funny stuff happened and I just felt like I had to record it because this topic also involves the video that I just put out. So this will be like a part two to my trading slash pricing video and this is going to be more in depth on just the pricing. So today I had this uh, person, probably a kid, who knows, I mean a lot of teenagers get on this game and think they know everything so they act like kids. So probably just, you know, some person who thought they knew everything came up to me and was like, oh, hey, uh, maybe your stuff isn't selling at your market because your stuff isn't very good and your prices are way too overpriced. And I'm like, LOL, right? Because I just made a video about pricing and trading. So I definitely know my value of my items and my horses and what I should price them at. Now, when people usually tell you that your stuff isn't that good and that it's overpriced, it really just means that they know nothing about the market and it's probably too pricey for them. Now, a lot of people don't know how to get money in this game because they're very bad at playing the game for the market-wise or money-wise part of it. You know, they just run around and play on horses, which is super fine. But don't come to me and try and tell me that my stuff is overpriced when you just don't know anything, especially about the market, because my stuff's fairly priced. You know what I mean? Like, it may look overpriced, but it's actually a pretty good price for the item. It's just pricey. Not everything that you sell in your market has to be uh, 5k and under, you know, like I'm gonna sell things pricey. So let me show you guys some examples This is basically how my market looked when the girl came and was like, oh, hey, your stuff's super overpriced So I had this up right here 3,000 and then 4,000 for a buy now you guys know me already and it says it right there I accept bids on everything really I just accept the 3,000 every time somebody does a bid So this is a oh, let me get out of the camera here this is an orange pearl sport medicine boot, right? So obviously orange pearl is more rare of a material and it looks really nice because orange pearl, as you guys know, will fade in the sun. Like when it's sunny, it's lighter. When it's uh, nighttime, it's darker. So that's obviously a big, um, let's say, wanted thing in the game. A lot of people like the pearl because it does that fade color to it. So it's definitely worth 3K because if you go to the store in the market, you can buy it for like, 1300 or something and as you guys know she doesn't always have the same items up all the time uh, especially with the pearl stuff it's a little more rare sometimes so you're allowed to sell it for a couple thousand more you know to make a profit off of what you bought yourself that's what like being a businessman slash woman is in this game you have to make your own business you know out of the game you know you're making your own sales you got to make a profit off of what you have so that when you buy things you're still getting money, like a pawn shop, you know? Like if you guys have ever been to a pawn shop or if you ever watched shows on pawn shops, they go and buy stuff from people and then they have to sell it for a higher price so that they can make a profit off of what they just bought. It's just common sense. So I bought this from a market. I'm going to sell it a little bit higher so that I can make a profit myself from what I bought and that's just how it is. So a lot of people will see it as pricey, but it's really not. Like look at this for example, only 5,500 for a very nice, emerald and icy black wagon now i don't know about you guys but um emerald is a rare material again in this game if you have emerald items especially wagons or event items it automatically racks the price up on top of the icy black it just looks nice with it saint patrick's day is coming up so i made sure i picked up the wagon and you guys know in this game wagons are hard to come by for specific materials and specific color combos because the wagons have a really big rng pool so multiple colors can spawn all the time with multiple materials different ways so there's a lot of options which means you're not going to get the same option a lot so that means this wagon will not be showing up in the market the regular market anytime soon and if it does that's a really lucky rng there but it most likely won't so that's why I buy this and I sell it at this price because I probably bought it for like 3500 So I'm selling it for a couple thousand more to make a profit and it's rare because you're not going to find that in the market and it's really nice. So I, I'm not getting these numbers out of thin air. You know, I'm not just like, oh, let's just mark things however I want to make money. No, that's not how we're doing it here. I'm being, you know, professional about it. I'm being an actual intelligent gamer. That's really it. I'm just taking the market in the game and using it to my own market and my own profit. That's how every game is supposed to go. So for kids and, you know, teenagers, let's say, that don't know the market, who are trying to tell you what your prices are and your stuff's too pricey, do not let them tell you that. Don't let anybody tell you that you are pricing things too high until you've watched this video and you make sure you have a nice, understanding of where I'm getting these numbers, how I'm pricing things so that you can do it on your own and teach people so that they know how to price things as well. Like 
please show this to your friends show this to anybody who needs to see it because i'm real sick of dealing with people in this game that don't understand the market they just run around and play on horses like they know things you know so take this horse for example right now this is a rare event horse because it is a thoroughbred so it's harder to get the golden thoroughbred from the basket definitely harder and on top of that it has 99 speed that's really close to 100. That's extremely hard to get on these horses. Plus, it's already energetic, and it's female, which a lot of people like in this because I think majority are women that play the game. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that automatically racks up the price for this horse because one, it's rare. Two, it's almost max speed for the horse breed. Uh, thoroughbreds can only get up to 100 speed, so 99 is extremely close, and you guys know that trying to find multiple rare horses with high speed is almost impossible uh, because it's limited. You can't just go out and catch it or breed it. You know, it's a golden horse. So because of that, I put it right here too. I make sure I put 99 speed so everybody knows that it's really high. And that's why I base it at 20K. Now I put it at 20,000 only because yes, there are baskets in the game. I have one over here. Yes, you can still find the basket in the wild. And yes, apples are easily accessible most of the time. So you can technically do the basket yourself and maybe get lucky and find this thoroughbred. But chances are slim, so it's 20k because it's not a super rare, hard to find horse, but it's also not really easy and it has really good stats. So 20k is a good price for this because of those odds. I'm not just getting these numbers out of thin air, I'm putting everything into consideration. That's actually very reasonable. I should make it pricier, but I know that kids are stingy right now with the golden horses, so I won't be pricing it much higher than that. That's just a good price for it. Now let's look at these, right? Now these were event items from the Valentine event. You know, really nice Cloud Auroras. They were rare. You had to spend a lot of um, your Valentine coins just to use the fountain to get them, because I don't think Cupid had a very high chance of giving you these. You had to get it through the fountain, most likely. Or if Cupid did give it to you, it was harder to get. So let's look at this, right? It's uh, shiny blue and diamond, so double blue and red and yellow. Now, these could be good colors for somebody. It doesn't really matter if you love the colors or not. That's your opinion, so it could lower the price for you. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth this amount. So I actually put it at 7k. I'm being quite nice because this is, like I said, a more rare event item. Of course, it's more rare now too because the Valentine's event is over. You can no longer get these items until next year. So that immediately racks up the price on them. And like I said, it's double blue and it was a it was a hard item to get in the game. It's it's an Aurora item. Treat these items almost like you would treat a horse, you know, like you want to make sure you're pricing it based on all the factors, like I said. And you got to take that into consideration. So anytime an event ends and you have event items, you, immediately those prices go up. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you have to say. Oh, it's overpriced, blah, blah. It's not. It's just pricey for you. And this is an event item. If you wanted it, you'd buy it. If you don't, that's fine. You don't got to tell me it's overpriced when you're, when you're wrong. So this one I raised at a much higher price, though, because of the colors. And the colors obviously do matter. But more people will, will more so like this one compared to the other one. So this one's at 15k because, of course, it is Moonstone, really rare on event items too. That was hard to get. Ruby, Pastel Green, and Shiny Black. Those are all really nice and mostly rare uh, material, especially the Ruby, the Moonstone, and even getting Pastel Green on items is really hard in events. And this would be great for, like, Halloween or... Uh, Christmas time, you know, like these are themed colors. That's what makes this more like more rare and more valuable. So I put it at 15,000. So 15,000 because again, event item, can't get it anymore. It was a rare item to begin with. It also has really rare, nice color matches and materials. And that's how you base your prices, people. I'm just giving you guys another video to more understand this because clearly people still don't understand pricing. Now let's look at this. This is the new horse with the island unique volcanic black coat and it has a uh, rare hair this is the one the hair you can get from the fajords but you can only get it through breeding so this horse immediately super pricey i should even price it more than what i priced it at but i'm again being a little nice with this because a lot of kids or people that play the game i gotta stop saying kids but i just feel like when i run into these issues it's with kids you know what i mean but sadly it could be it could be adults you never know it could be adults <laughs> So this is 15k for the bid, 17 for the buy, because again, a rare island unique coat on it, plus it's the new horse, which people are having a hard enough time getting as it is, and 
it's got the rare hair. You know, I'm going to increase this price. It's got the rare hair too. I got to increase this. I'm being, I'm going to be a little greedy with it because I worked my butt off to get these horses. I had to spend like good money and good trades to get the horse, the new horse. What's it called again? The Marwari. 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 But yeah, got the new horse again. Uh, I had to trade a good bit for it like for my other ones, and I had to spend good money on the other ones just so I could breed them. And again, the breedings, when you're using the Island Unique Black Coat, they cost like 4500 per breeding. So it's not a cheap breed, like a cheap, easy breeding thing to do. So I definitely want to price this at 20 I'm going to do 18 k and then I will do 20 k for the buyout. Let's see how that... Did I do that right? Actually, I think I did that wrong. No, I did it right. Let's see how that does in the market because someone might really enjoy that and it's really worth the price. If it doesn't sell after a while, I'll bring it back down to like 15000 but that's where it will stay. No lower than 15000 because that's, that's a really nice horse. I worked hard for it. Like I said, time and money goes into these breedings. That's why their price is usually so high. Now let's look at this. Again, it's orange eels. Um, the person probably was thinking I was overpricing them. Definitely wasn't overpricing them. Again, this is a more rare material, rare item. It does make really nice uh, accessories as well. So they sell for a high amount of money. And I'm not the only person selling them for this price. I've actually seen a lot of people sell five eels for $5,000. That's just the norm in this game. So I don't know what they were thinking really. But this is very normal for eels, honestly, and I, like I said, I'm being a little nice, I always accept bids, so you're saving a little bit of money on the fifth one. If you're buying a bundle of five, you only have to spend 4000 And that's pretty nice for the orange eels. I mean, orange is a nice color, especially around, like I said, uh, Halloween, things like that. Probably mostly Halloween, or like autumn, I almost said autumn, fall, same thing. Uh, now this is obviously an easy one. You can get these in the market for probably like 1,500, 1,700. I'm not really sure. So I'm selling it for 2,500 or 3,500 if somebody wants to outright buy it. Neon red, pretty easy. Uh, people love the neons. Always buy them from the market when you can. People will snatch those up. And like I said, I'm trying to make a profit off something that I've already bought, so I need to price it a little higher. That's just how it is because again, the red neon will not show up in the market all the time. It's very, it's occasionally. So, you know, you'll have to check every 15 to 20 minutes when the market refreshes just to see if it's there. And it might not be there for the first five, six, seven refreshes, you know? So that's why it's important to buy things from the market and resell them at a higher value. People will buy them. Don't act like they won't. And that's why this person made me laugh so much because uh, once they told me that my stuff was uh, terribly overpriced and I didn't have good items, they immediately left the server. They weren't even intelligent nor mature enough to stay and have a adult conversation with me as to why they could be wrong because everybody likes to assume again that their opinions are right nobody should be assuming things in their day-to-day -day life absolutely nobody should be coming in here and just assuming when they don't know you know what i mean that's just not smart it's not right your opinion is not factual it's just something that you think so i was like huh why am I automatically selling things as soon as she leaves, even though my stuff's overpriced? Because as soon as she left the server, about a couple minutes later, somebody bought my wagon for $8,000. So I was like, huh, apparently my stuff's overpriced, but why are people buying it if that is so? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was hilarious. So if you guys want to know what the item was, I was selling a um, clear quartz and shiny pink royal wagon now if you guys know the royal wagon is the wagon that you have to buy with robux you cannot buy it with regular coins like 90 percent of the time it'll never show up in the market and we usually when it does show up in the market for actual in-game coins they're usually ugly colors so i won't buy them and you guys have to know like that royal wagon cost five in cost five dollars in real life like that's five real life dollars you're spending on a wagon you know so when i found the clear quartz shiny pink wagon which i will post in my community post so you guys can see it if anybody's curious about what it looks like i'll post it in my community post after the video here i just don't have it anymore in the market because they bought it so i was selling it for eight thousand five hundred because i bought it for six thousand five hundred dollars guys i honestly should have sold that wagon for much more money because like i said usually they're worth five in i mean five real life dollars that's a lot of money so i should have been selling that wagon for more of like ten to twelve thousand but i wasn't because most people won't buy it at that price just because again people are very 
mm, I can't. People are very not knowledgeable about the market and about pricing and about wagons and like I said, buying and reselling. Nobody's very smart with that stuff in this game. I'm not sure why, but nobody really understands the market in this. So I can't say people are stupid because they just don't know. They're just not learning it. So it's they're not knowledgeable. You know what I mean? So I should have sold it for more. But like I said, people won't buy it at that price because they don't understand. Some people would, but you'd probably be waiting a little longer for it to sell if you sell it at too high of a price because then you're limiting the amount of people that will probably buy it. So like I said, I put it at 8500 I put the buy price at 10 k because I think that's more in the price range for more people. So you have a bigger pool of people that will come and buy it compared to only some people. And as you see, I already have somebody... Did they? No, they didn't. No, they're thinking about it. I was say, I thought I had somebody bid on my stuff. They're thinking about it, though. Um, I'm very confident in this type of topic because, like I said, I'm knowledgeable of it. I know it. I'm always studying it. I'm constantly doing the market in this game. So I'm confident in my information and my knowledge to more so make these factual. So only make sure you guys are giving people information and your opinions if they're more so factual and you have enough knowledge to back yourself up. Because I'm totally okay with having conversations with you guys about like why my stuff's overpriced or why you think it's not a good item. We can have that conversation, but if you're not gonna be knowledgeable enough and intellectual enough to have the conversation with me, then just don't even tell me the information. It makes no sense. No, your, your words are invalid and then like, whatever you say is going to be in one ear out the other because it's just not true. So let me give you guys another example on the horses real quick because I had another horse up when they were here originally. This one. Yep, okay. So we have a spooky Frisian. It's uh, just regular black coat, but it's long flaxen. Now, I was selling this horse for 8,000 coin, and like I said, I accept bids, so the buy price was only like 9,500. And again, I was selling it at that price because of the long flaxen hair. The flaxen hair is a hair color you can get only through breeding. You can't just go buy it. You can't just have it naturally occur like with the regular um, coat, with the regular hair colors. You guys know the regular breeding hair colors are like black, white, palomino, chestnut, brown, and gray. You know, those are like the main, you're, you're always going to get those. But the flaxen hair comes specifically from the Cremello coat on the uh, Akalateka? A I don't know how to say that one. You know, the skinny horse with the Cremello coat. So you have to end up doing a bunch of breeding just to get it on a Frisian. Now, I know it's obviously the boring black coat, but it still looks nice with the flaxen hair. And it's really good for breeding because, again, you can only get this through breeding specifically with certain horses that have the flaxen hair in their gene. So it took me a lot of money to get this. I had to take a different horse, I had to breed it to a Frisian, and somehow get the flaxen hair onto a Frisian, and then have it have max speed. I mean, this horse has max speed too. That's the highest speed a Frisian can get. That's really good speed. You know, I had to breed for that. Again, I had to make sure I got a Frisian with 70 speed, to match with my Frisian that had the flaxen hair and breed and breed and breed until I finally got a horse that had the flaxen hair and the 70 speed. Because if you guys didn't know yet, you cannot get the max speed on a Frisian unless you're breeding with a Frisian that has 70 speed already. You know, you can't just put two Frisians that have 65 speed and like 50 speed, put them together and hope you're going to get a 70 speed Frisian. That's not going to happen. So it took a long time for me to breed this horse, whether it's a spooky black horse or not, it's still rare. And it was worth a lot of money because I had to breed for it. So I think people don't put that into consideration. Like, I didn't just find this horse out in the wild. You know, I bred for this. It's got max speed, flax and hair. So yeah, it's worth 8K. It's worth 10K, honestly. Because, again, this is valuable for breeding. So people could buy this and then breed their own horses with it that ha can have max speed. And the flax and hair. That's really hard to get. I mean, I barely have... Frisians with max 70 speed, you know, it's like really hard to get nowadays because like I said You can't just put two Frisians together and hopefully get 70 speed one of your Frisians has to already have 70 speed And I didn't have any Frisians with 70 speed. So I had to like go hunting for them. I had to buy them I had to hopefully Find some in the wild that had 70 speed already. It was tough. So that's a hopefully a better understanding for you guys on how to price your horses, why I price them the way I do, how to price your items and your wagons, why I price them the way I do. Nothing I ever sell will ever be overpriced. It's Yes, it's going to be pricey. Yeah, you may not have money for it, but that doesn't mean it's overpriced. 
I'm doing it at a very fair price, very fair value, and you guys have to remember, once event horses and event items are no longer available, they become immediately pricier and more rare. Take this for example, say you have a Pokemon card from two, the year 2000, you know? It's a really nice, shiny Charizard, because everybody loves Charizard. You got this shiny Charizard card from the year 2000, and it's got one of those rare markings on it, so everybody knows that it's a rare card. 20, 25 years from now, that's going to be worth 100 bucks, not just two dollars that's going to be worth 300 bucks to somebody who really wants to pay for it it all depends on the market again guys this is more like a black market or like a pawn shop in this game it all depends on how bad somebody wants it and how old and valuable it is so somebody could want that charizard card for 300 or somebody might think it's overpriced because they don't want it that bad that doesn't mean it's necessarily overpriced but somebody will pay for it look at this somebody's already willing to pay 18,000 for my horse because i know how i'm pricing things and I know they're worth what they're worth. And I always say thank you. You know, make sure you're always thanking the people who buy stuff from you. Because they're putting their hard-earned money into your market. And this just always, like, the people always confirm with me that I'm pricing things correctly. Because I know that my stuff sells. Because people buy it. Hence the person that just bought that. So let's put up, uh, oh, are they texting something? Say so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's put up that Frisian again. Or maybe something else. Let me see what else I have. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of... I'm using those still for breeding projects. Mm. I really want to try and sell some of these horses, though. I wonder if she'll she'll buy this for uh, 7000 They might. Now, this, again, is worth the price because it's a Legacy Co. on a Frisian. And I know it's a little more common right now, but not everybody has it. Again, it's good for breeding. Has nice hair. And I know it'll sell. Like, that will sell no problem. I've sold a million of those already in the past for that price, so I know that will sell. It's just, you know, trust your gut on things. Don't let people come into your market and tell you how to price things and tell you that your stuff's overpriced until, you know, you watch my videos. Make sure you have a good understanding of the market. And, you know, I hope you guys really enjoy this content from me because I do really care about... Uh, this game specifically and how people are pricing things and buying things and all sorts, you know, everything under the sun because I play this game a lot so it does matter to me that the community understands things so that it makes it easier for me to play the game and everybody else. So please share this with everybody, you know, share this with your friends, make sure you guys um, understand the market more so that you can make a better market for yourselves. I've super thrived off my market. I just made 25k in the last 30 minutes, you know, I've, I haven't even done anything. I've just been sitting here so it really does matter like make sure you understand the market make sure you're pricing things how you want to price them don't don't let other people come in here and tell you how to price things because you know what you're doing just like i do i know what i'm doing i'm knowledgeable it was just hilarious to me definitely go check out my community posts i'm always posting in there for you guys just to like have a little more connection with everybody and show you guys the wagon of course because it was a really pretty wagon i have other wagons in here I just haven't sold them yet. Like, I have really pretty pink one here and the red pearl one that would sell good. I got the double purple one still. Again, guys, if you have double amethyst, double color, this sells for big money. This here will sell for at least 8 to 10K as long as somebody wants it. You know, you, you've got to be patient. That person will come around eventually. That's why I server hop a lot because... I want to find as many people as I can throughout my day to buy my stuff because obviously those 25 people in your server might not want your stuff. That's only 25 people out of like how many people play this game? Like 10,000 or more people play this game all the time. There's usually at least three to 6,000 people on at once. So yeah, just never be afraid. And if you guys again have any questions or um, concerns about how you're pricing things or what you should price things at just put it in the comments below i will try my best to answer your questions and help you guys out because i am here for you with this i want to help people out i want to make sure the game's easier for us to play and uh, i hope you guys again found this entertaining and helpful at the same time i try it was just funny stuff you guys you know i'm always here to help you out as well and until next time see ya